Class 11 Accountancy Numerical Problem Solutions Presented by Edixit.com In this video, we are going to provide Bank Reconciliation Statement Favorable Balance Cash Book and Passbook Solutions Problem 2 Solution The problem statement is as follows on March 31st, 2000 plus, the cash book showed a balance of 3,700 rupees as cash at bank. But the bank passbook made up to the same date showed that checks for 700 rupees, 300 rupees and 180 rupees respectively had not presented for payment. Also, a check amounting to 1,200 rupees deposited into the account had not been credited. Prepare a bank reconciliation statement. Before we proceed with the analysis of these particulars, let us first recap few details about bank reconciliation statement. Let us first recap why there is a need for reconciliation. By preparing the bank reconciliation statement, we get an idea about why there is a difference between the cash book and the passbook. The difference could be due to timing difference on recording the transaction, errors made by the business or the bank. Few reasons of the timing difference are checks issued by the business but not yet presented for the payment. When the business issues a check to the supplier or the creditor, they are immediately entered on the credit side of the cash book. The supplier or creditor has to encash this check by presenting it in the bank. In some cases, the creditor or supplier may not present this check immediately in the bank. So, when the bank statement is received by the firm, as this check is not yet presented by the creditor or supplier, this will not be there in the bank statement. The second reason for timing difference could be checks paid into the bank but not yet collected. When the business receives checks from its customers or debtors, they are immediately recorded in the debit side of the cash book. So, the cash book shows more amount to be available in the bank. These checks could be from a bank which is not in the same city or town. Sometimes, the business might have an account in one branch and the check could be from a different branch. In such cases, the bank may not have collected the check amount by the time the bank statement is received by the firm. So, there will be difference in the cash book and the bank statement. There could be other reasons also why there is a difference between the bank balance as per the cash book and as per the pause book. But to limit the scope of these differences to this problem, let us consider only these two reasons for timing difference. As the problem does not have any particulars about the errors made by the business or by the bank, we will discuss these in other problems. With this information at our disposal, let us now proceed with the analysis of each of these details in the problem. Here, the balance as per the cash book is 3,700 rupees. Note that this is a debit balance and represents a favorable balance. Also note that the balance as per the cash book is given and we need to find the balance as per the pause book. Let us enter these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the title as bank reconciliation statement as of March 31st, 2000 plus. Let us have the individual columns for serial number, particulars, amount that should be added and the amount that should be deducted. Let us first write the particulars number as 1. Let us then write the particulars as balance as per the cash book. As this is the debit or favorable balance, we need to add this amount of 3700 rupees. With that, we have recorded these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us now take up the next details. Here it is given that 3 checks for 700 rupees, 300 rupees and 180 rupees are issued but not yet presented for payment. This is caused by the timing difference in recording of the transactions. Note that when the check is issued, it is immediately recorded in the cash book. Issuing a check means the business is paying to someone. As issuing a check reduces the bank balance, it will be credited in the cash book. But as it is not yet presented in the bank, it will not be reflected in the bank passbook. In other words, it is not yet deducted from the bank. 
So we need to add this amount back to the cash book balance to get the passbook balance. Before we proceed with the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement, let us first find the sum of these three checks. The total of 700s, 300s and 180 rupees is 1180 rupees. Note that we are recording this in the bank reconciliation statement and not in the cash book. Let us now consider these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the particulars as three checks issued but not yet presented. Let us now add this amount of 1180 rupees. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us now take up the next details. Here it is given that a check for 1200 rupees is deposited in the bank account but not yet collected. This is caused by the timing difference in recording of the transactions. When the check is taken to deposit it into the bank, it is recorded immediately in the cash book. The businesses deposit the checks that they received from someone in the bank. As the business has received a check from a third party, it will be debited in the cash book. But this amount is not yet reflected in the bank passbook as it is not yet collected. So we need to deduct this amount from the cash book balance to get the passbook balance. Let us now enter these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the particulars as check deposited but not collected. Let us now deduct this amount of 1200 rupees. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. In fact, we have completed the recording of all these details into the bank reconciliation statement. The next step is to find the balance as per the passbook. Now the total of all the entries in the plus amount column is 4880 rupees and the total of all the entries in the minus amount column is 1200 rupees. From 4880 rupees if you subtract 1200 rupees we get 3680 rupees. This amount represents the balance as per the passbook. Let us now record these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let's first write the serial number. Let's then write the particulars as balance as per the passbook. As we have started with the cash book balance, we need to write the passbook balance of 3680 rupees in the negative amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement and we have come to the end of this solution. Now the total of all the entries in the plus amount column is 4880 rupees. Similarly, the total of all the entries in the minus amount column is 4880 rupees. Thanks for watching. Edixit.com is started to promote effective and efficient learning process to help the students with their learning requirements. To watch all our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Also, please click on the bell icon to receive a notification as soon as a new video is published. Please click on the like button if you like this video. Thanks for watching.